Yeah. Um, height channels face down or angled towards the listening area? Oh, great question. Mm -hmm. it, when, as much as possible, angled toward the listening area. And here's the reason why. Um, the optimizer can do wonderful things in terms of making sure that the sound that reaches you is what it should be. But if you think about it, let's say you have a speaker that you know, it's a decent speaker, but it's mounted flat in the ceiling way up in front of you. It's a front or even a height channel. Um, that speaker's best sound, as designed by the speaker designer, is going to be pointed right at the floor. And the speaker's worst sound is the stuff that's way the heck off axis coming to you. Don't you want to point the best sound at you and, and let the less good sound go someplace else? If we correct for the off axis, problem to the degree that it can be corrected for, um, that will basically pollute the sound that's going straight down, which is then going to bounce off the floor and bounce around the room. And so, yeah, you're, you're always better off aiming the good stuff into the listening area uh, to the degree that you can. And if yeah. you can't, you know, the optimizer will make the best thing, of a, the best of a less than perfect situation. Um, but if you, there are a fair number of companies nowadays that uh, have an angled baffle built right into the the, the ceiling channel. Mm -hmm. That those some of those, um, like at Cedia last year, we were co-exhibiting with Triad, and we actually used a pair of their in ceiling. I forget the model number, but it was uh, designed to be in the ceiling with an angle, and we used them for the wide channels because they were in the walls and so far forward of us. It was kind of the same thing. You wanted to point the, the, the good sound back into the listening area. 